This is I'm Sark, and in this video we're looking at differentiation of exponential and logarithmic functions. So first of all, we have to look at e. And e is just a constant, but when e to the x is differentiated, it acts in its own special way. So first of all, we have when y is equal to e to the x, that means that dy over dx is also equal to e to the x. So it stays exactly the same when it's differentiated, and it's the only thing that does this. Then we have when y is equal to e to the ax, then dy over dx is going to be equal to a, e, and then to the ax. So that means that all we're doing is we're having that a, we're putting it to the front and we're timesing it by e at the start. So here we have a question and it says differentiate 6e to the 0.5x. Now here we're looking at the second example here because we have a here which is 0.5. So therefore we're doing 6 times by 0.5 which is equal to 3. Then it's going to be e and then we're keeping it ax so it's going to be 0.5x. So that means that dy by dx for that one is equal to 3e to 0.5x. So the next thing to look at is working with the natural log. And when y is equal to ln x, and remember this is log to the base e x, or is equal to y is equal to ln ax, so there is something else before the x, then dy by dx is always equal to 1 over x. So here we have a few examples which we have to work out. And the first one here says that y is equal to ln 2x. Now this is like the y is equal to ln ax. That means that dy over dx shall be equal to 1 over x. The next one here, we have a constant before the ln x. And this means that we're going to times it by 4. So here we have dy by dx is equal to 4 times by 1 over x. Obviously, we can simplify that and say that is equal to 4 over x. Final one is slightly more difficult as we have to know another way of expressing this. And the other way of expressing this is equal to ln x to the half, as the square root is is equal to the root um, to squaring it by a half. Um, so to the power of a half is equal to ln root x. And that means that what we can do now by using the law of logarithms, we can change that to y is equal to half ln x. Now this should be a form that we've seen uh, before and is easier to work with. So that means that we have dy by dx is going to equal 1 over 2x. And that is our final answer for that one. So a little bit more of manipulation for this question just to get it in a form that we recognize. So the next thing to look at is working with a to the x. And this is slightly more difficult as I will show you a proof to show how this works. And we'll start off with y is equal to a to the x. And we want to differentiate this. So that means that we can say that dy by dx is going to be this. And we're going to start off by doing everything by ln. So we have ln y is equal to ln a to the x. Therefore, using the rules of logarithms, which we have looked at in a previous video, and we did do in the previous example, we can do ln y is equal to x ln a. So therefore, what we have to do is differentiate everything. And in order to differentiate a function of y, this is implicit differentiation, which we will be looking at at a new video coming up. How this will then be 1 over y, um, and that's the ln y part. And then we also have to have a dy by dx in here as well. And then that is going to be equal to ln a. 
So that means that we have dy by dx is going to be equal to ln a divided by 1 over y, which is essentially equal to dy by dx is equal to y times by ln a. Then we can look back at the start and it says that y is equal to a to the x. So therefore we know that dy by dx is equal to a to the x ln a. And that is the thing that we have to remember there. That's just how to um, form it and how to derive it from that. So that means that if we had a question, for example, that says y is equal to 5x, that would mean that dy by dx would be equal to 5x ln 5. So that is exactly what you have to remember, but it is also useful to know how to derive it as well. So in our final question of the day, we have a nice problem solving question. And this question says, a cup of tea is made from boiling water and left alone, it will cool down according to the model, x is equal to ae to the minus kt plus r. Now x degrees is a temperature t minutes after the tea is made and r degrees is the surrounding room temperature. Now a and k are both constants. So firstly, it says that calculate the values of the constant a and k given that initially the temperature of the tea is 100 degrees and that after three minutes it has cooled to 80 degrees. Now the room temperature was 18 degrees. So that means that this one doesn't really involve any differentiation for the first part. B will involve differentiation, but this we have to get our figures of A and K. So to start off, we know the initial thing and that is the most important thing because when t is zero k will cancel which means that we'll only have a and that's how we can work out what a is so we know that at the start x will be 100 because x is the temperature t minutes after um, after the t is made so that means that x is equal to 100 then we have a that's what we're trying to find out then we have e which is again a constant then we have minus k t and then that is, and then t actually we know that's going to be zero times by zero, and that's because it's initially it's right at the start, and that means that plus eighteen. So therefore, if we take away the eighteen, then we're going to get eighty-two is equal to a e to the zero e to the zero. Anything to the power of zero is always one. That means that a is equal to 82. So now we have that, now we can move on and we can try and find out what k is. In order to do this, we're just going to put it back into the next thing it says, and that is after three minutes, it's cooled to 80 degrees. So this means that x this time will be 80. We have a now, which is 82. Then e then we're going to get minus 3t because we don't know, uh, minus 3k, sorry, because we don't know what k is, but we do know that t is 3. And then it's going to be plus 18. Rearrange this, and we're going to get 80 to e to the minus 3k is equal to 62. That means that e to the minus 3k is equal to 62 over 82. That's can be say 31 over 41. Therefore, using logs, we can say log to the base e, which is just ln, ln 31 over 41 is equal to minus 3k which means that k is equal to 0 0.0932 to four decimal places. So now we have that, now we can start using differentiation and that comes in part B. 
So it says, at what rate is the tea cooling? And that it has, at the instant it's poured, enough 10 minutes. But first of all, we just need to work out the rate at which it's pouring. And that is always done by differentiation, dx over dt in this case. So that means dx over dt. So we have our initial thing. And we can say that x is equal to 82 e minus 0 0.093 t plus 18. Therefore, we need to differentiate this. And that's using the old thing that we just learned about according to exponential functions. So that means dx over dt is going to be equal to 82 times by 0 0.093, as that is what comes before t. That's like the a there. And that is equal to 7.642e. And then it's going to stay the same as minus 0 0.0. 9, 3, t. This 18 will just cancel as it's a constant and there is no t in it, so differentiate to that is going to be 0. So therefore, we have our dx over dt, so now we just need to put in t is equal to 0. So therefore, when t is equal to 0, we're going to have this is going to cancel, which means it's going to be 7.64 degrees and that's per minute that is the temperature is cooling next one here is uh, slightly more difficult um, as we have slightly more things to add in so therefore we can add I'll put it in a box over here and this is when t is equal to 10 Um, putting t is equal to 10 in means that what we're going to get is 7.642e and then it's going to be minus 0 0.093 times by 10. Shove it into your calculator and what you're going to get is 3.0093 and that is equal to 3 degrees per minute. And that is everything in terms of exponential and logarithmic functions and how to differentiate them. Hope you've enjoyed it and see you soon. Bye.